welcome friends. I am Meredith and today we have my Ipsy Glam Bank Plus for the month of April 2021. I don't know about you, but I'm excited to dig in and see what I got. Uh, but before we do that, I just want to say if you are new, welcome. I do all kinds of unboxings here on my channel and hauls as well. So if that sounds like a good time, definitely make sure to subscribe and stick around. Ring the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any future videos. And of course, if you enjoy uh, subscription unboxings such as Ipsy, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. It really does help out my channel. And if you do, I appreciate that. So thank you so much. And of course, we also have to do lipstick of the day because no Mare of All Trades video would be complete without it, right? So this one is from NARS. It is their Velvet Matte Lip Pencil and it is in the shade Cruella, which is this absolutely gorgeous, if I say so myself, and very sassy red which you know when I've had an extra cup of coffee I am just feeling so there you are you have been forewarned I made a second pot of coffee today <laughs> so let's go ahead and dig in to my ipsy plus bag if you don't know what ipsy is it is a subscription uh, makeup and skincare beauty bag if you will they have three different size bags they have the $12 glam bag which is the smallest the Glam Bag Plus, which is what this one is. It is $25 a month, and you get to pick three full-size items with that. And then they also have the Ipsy Glam Bag X, which comes out seasonally. The next uh, Glam Bag X bag or box that's coming out is next month. So I did sign up for that one, so definitely stay tuned. It looks like it's going to be a good one, but we will see and unbox it, and we can discuss what we think about it then. All right, enough blathering. First up, let's go ahead and pull it out. There is one item outside of my bag. And I think, yeah, um, I did get um, a really fun item in the points section. You can fill out um, reviews on all of the items that you get in your bag, as well as uh, refer friends. Speaking of which, I will leave my link down below. And when I get enough points and I find something cool in the points section, I snag that and I put it in future giveaways. So I'm actually going to do a give you giveaway in this video. But the first thing out of my bag is the Perlis Blue Lotus Plus Seaweed Treatment Sheet Mask. It says it is intensely moisturizing, soothing, and balancing for all skin types. And this is a six pack. Now, I have tried a number of the Pearly's products um, before, specifically from this Blue Lotus collection. The face cleanser from this collection is really, really good. Um, I've tried their eye serum. The only pro uh, product in that line that I wasn't 100% in love with was their daily moisturizer that was also a sunscreen. It did sort of melt in the sun. I don't think I ever reviewed this product because I never finished it up, but you end up, it kind of melts and you end up eating a little bit of it. You can taste it in your mouth. It's not so good. So I stopped using it on my face and I've just been using it like on my decollete area um, so that I don't waste it, but it's not great on the face. I'm sure it does wonderful with being a sunscreen, but uh, so anyways, this one stays on for 15 to 20 minutes, which is very common in the sheet mask world. Um, and so I'm excited to give these a go. I, I will be surprised if I don't like them. Let's see. Um, yep. Glycerin is the second ingredient, which I have found in most of the sheet masks I really, really like. It's very high up, like within the first two to three ingredients. So excited for those. Um, and maybe I will add one of these sheet masks into the giveaway. Who knows? Let's see, we do normally get a card. This month's theme is Force of Nature, and it's talking about five different super food, uh, skin-friendly ingredients. So I'll read that later. Next up is from Bogushis. I think that's how you say that name. Don't act. <laughs> I'm not sure on that, so we'll just go with it. But it is a five brush set. Now, these look like they're pretty good. Um, I will say I have a ton of makeup brushes, a number of which I have gotten in subscription boxes, but I actually got a brush set, uh, five brush set very recently. I think might've been last month's Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. So I'm actually gonna save this and include it in the giveaway. So five brush set, and it'll go along very well with this and this is the uh nude 
Intuitive Vision palette from Bell and Argent. That is what the outer packaging looks like. So what's funny is I used my points to redeem this, but then it also was one of their choice items for me in this bag. So I get one and you get one. I was originally <laughs> just going to give you guys one. So I'm gonna set aside the one for the giveaway so that I don't even bother opening it. And we will open mine up and see what we think of this palette. Now let me know, did you get the palette in your uh, Ipsy bag? Did it come up as their choice for you or was it one of your choices? I would love to know. So here is what it looks like. Very reflective mirror type case to it. it. Does have a list of the shadow names on the back. And hold on one second. We need the, the card just like all the, the YouTubers so that you can really see the colors. Now I thought that this was a great one simply because just about anyone can use it. It has some really pretty neutral, not too warm, not too cool shades. So I think this is going to be a palette that's going to look good on so many people. Um, I really like that there are an equal number of uh, mattes and shimmer shades. I love a good matte for the crease to sort of deepen things up a little bit. Um, but I I am a sucker for a good shimmer eyeshadow, which you guys have probably noticed over the years if you've been watching me for a while. But I think this palette is really, really pretty. This one has a little bit more of like a purpley taupe undertone to it, which I like. This one's got a little more of a yellowy orange um, undertone to it. So definitely it can flatter a lot of different skin types um, depending. So I'm excited to have this in my collection. This I can tell you right now is going to get plenty of use because I do uh, tend to go for more neutral looks most days. So I'm excited for this one. That is a win. Next up we have, I, this is one of the things I chose. I have never used a shampoo bar before and so I kind of, I just wanted to give it a go. I was curious to see, you know, does it lather the same? Was it easy to use? Let me know if you guys have used a shampoo bar before and what you thought of it. So as someone who kind of prides herself on her knowledge of hair care products, I figured this was one of the uncharted territories that I had not yet uh, navigated. I feel like I'm talking about Star Trek, you know, like Captain's Log, blah, blah, blah. To go boldly go where no one has gone before. I don't know. I'm a nerd as well as a product junkie, so bear with me. So anyways, this one is the Argon Oil Control and Soften uh, Shampoo Bar from Soapbox. I had never heard of that brand either. So um, I'm hoping that I will like this because I would love to go to a product that's a little bit more sustainable because this is not coming in a ton of plastic which most shampoos do. So I'll give this a go and I will definitely give you guys a product review in the future. And then the last thing, yeah, one of, there's an add-on in here that I did. I'll tell you about that in a minute. The last thing is the Honest Beauty Everything Cream Foundation, which is supposed to be buildable coverage. And this is in the shade Cream. So that is what the box look like. looks like. Um, and it looks like we have 0.31 ounces of product. It says it has buildable coverage, a velvety finish, and seamless blendability. That's the honest beauty of our Demi Matte Cream Foundation formulated with moisturizing jojoba oil, vitamin E, and pigments that blend smoothly and evenly. It is dermatologist tested. It says to use a sponge or a brush to dot foundation on your T-zone, then blend toward the hairline and jawline in circular motions for smooth, medium to full coverage. Okay. Now, of course, they sealed it, so I'm going to pick at this tape for a minute. All right, successfully removed it from the packaging. Here is what it looks like on the outside. Again, I think I said this already, but it is in the shade Cream. It does open up, and it has a pretty good size mirror there. So that is what the product looks like. And, yep, it does come with a little little sponge underneath there, so that's nice if you wanted to take it with you or if you just want to use that sponge to apply that's great too so I don't know I'm thinking that it looks a little dark and also it smells like lavender I'd be willing to bet money there's lavender in here yep it is okay all right so I don't love that it's lavender scented why is it that 
every rant coming on here <laughs> why is it that every like more natural more sustainable product company has to put lavender in everything i want to be environmentally friendly too i want less chemicals and less toxins but seriously no lavender that's all rant over i'm done now i've said my piece honestly I think I'm not gonna swatch this. I have a feeling it's a little too dark just looking at it up against my skin tone, but I think this shade might work well for my mother-in-law. So I'm gonna save this for her and maybe next time she comes to visit, we'll swatch it on her and see what we think. Um, if it's not dark enough for her, I will try it out, but I'm gonna go ahead and save this for her because I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm usually a good guess of these things and I'm pretty sure that this will work for her. So let me know, did you guys get it? Does it smell like lavender to you? And uh, did it actually match your skin tone? I would love to know. All right, and then the last thing that I got, um, which I ordered this and then I ended up going uh, and picking up something. So we'll talk about that in a second. But this is the Axil 3% Ren Redisil non-greasy hair growth serum. It says visible new growth, reduce shedding and minimize breakage. Now I don't have any problems with breakage um, because I tend to keep my hair pretty healthy. However, I have been losing quite a bit of hair um, and it's unfortunately beginning to the point where I'm really starting to get pretty irritated about it. So um, I feel like I'm shedding faster than it's growing in. So I've been taking some hair, skin and nail vitamins, and I do feel like it's making a difference with the new growth that I have. You can probably see some of those little baby hairs, but the problem is it's not stopping the shedding. So I did get this to try it out. Um, it says it's a scientifically developed formulation of powerful active ingredients that are proven to stimulate hair growth and reduce hair loss. So um, let me pull this out and show you what it is. I did, however, go and visit the salon that I used to work at because they do have a hair growth um, serum. It's a series of little ampules from Kerastase, um, which I did use when I had hair loss before when I had my second child. Um, and so I, I knew that that worked. So I'm hoping, and I've already started using it. I got two uh, sets. I think you get 12 vials, 10 or 12 vials, um, and a little applicator. And I've been using that so far. So after about a month, you're supposed to see results. If I go through both of those uh, sets and then I find that this, that that was not enough, um, I will try using this as well. So it does come in this little like apothecary you know glass bottle with a little dropper on it um, so if I end up using this afterwards I will definitely let you guys know if I see a significant change in my hair because of that um, but yeah so that was an add-on but let's talk about what actually came in my bag so I got the I the mask set of six which I think six sheet masks from Perlis is a pretty pricey item. A lot of their stuff is over $30. So this item right here is the cost of the bag, most likely. Um, I know they didn't provide a price sheet, but I'd be willing to bet money because I have gone on their website multiple times to check out various products. So I'm gonna say this is probably about 30 bucks worth. We got a set of five brushes that I again leave, left sealed for you guys. Got an eight pan eyeshadow palette in some really pretty neutral colors that I'm excited to try out. I think I'll get a lot of use out of that. We got the Argon Oil Shampoo Bar. We got the Honest Beauty Cream Foundation, which while it is definitely a fair shade, I'm not quite sure it's quite light enough, but I did pick this item. That's the problem with um, getting things online is you can't always necessarily see the color so let me know what you guys thought of my bag i think again ipsy did a really good job i feel like it's well-rounded i got a tool you know, a set of brushes i got skincare items i got several makeup items and a hair care product so again i'm really happy with this bag i think it's a good one even if that foundation doesn't end up being the right shade for me so all in all i'm really happy with that now Let's talk about the giveaway of the eyeshadow palette and the makeup brushes. In order to enter, you just need to make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and that you have your notifications on so that when I reach out to you, um, you will get notified of that so that you don't miss out on the actual giveaway. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up so that um, it helps the video out. And then of course, leave me a comment down below letting me know 
uh, what your favorite item was in the bag um, and um, just let me know that you're interested in the brushes and the eyeshadow palette. Okay? So that is everything and I will probably choose a winner early next week. So definitely be on the lookout for that. All right, everyone. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell. And you know, I'll be talking to you soon. Bye, guys.